two se- two sides at the cup to lower league positions. Except ours was somewhat worse. <laughs> All right, hello and welcome to the Match Day Vlogs YouTube channel. As always, please remember to smash that like button, hit subscribe, because it really does, it really does make a difference to the channel. We're here this evening to talk about the upcoming game at St Mary's against the Foxes. It's Leicester City at home. We're also going to be having a look back to what can only be described as the, the biggest embarrassment of the season so far, and perhaps for uh, many, many a year. Uh, we're also going to be having a look back at the disappointing loss to our fellow relegation rivals, Leeds United. Uh, and then we're also going to be have a t- chat about what our realistic expectations are for the remainder of the <laughs> season. And um, yeah, just generally what as fans we we can generally expect um tonight's broadcast is sponsored by circle um circle is an old new football sweepstakes game where a jackpot moves with the action on the pitch whoever's in the hot seat the final whistle takes the prize pot it's a rapid fire action that every moment counts from corners to red cards substitutions to free kicks and of course goals there are many ways to play uh, to stake and play you can join the public circles or set up with one of your mates guaranteeing at least one of you wins the prize pot details are in the description and use referral code matchdayvlogs when you sign up to get yourself a free bet. You must be 18 or over to play. Only bet with what you can afford and always set yourself sensible limits. Please bet responsibly. Be gambleaware.org. Um, you can also find the QR to join up in that top corner there. So if you are watching on a device that's not actually the device you scan with, um, do that. Um, but otherwise, it's it's up there. Um, so there we go. Um <sighs> I don't know where to begin, really, Jack. It's, First of all, it, c- congratulations because you, you you nailed you nailed that. that was fantastic! <laughs> I know it was. It was beautiful. a lot to remember that. It, it was, was great, that, and really. you, you know the app is yeah, it is a, it is it is good. Decent, yeah. fair play, it, and that was it, a it, great. I loved it. <laughs> do you know what I was? Like? I, I got the blurb next. I know I got the blurb next to me on the screen here, and uh, someone just sent me loads of messages, and it went all over it. So I do apologize for <laughs> starting there. Um, no, but extra it. extra bonus this weekend uh, using the match day vlogs code uh, bet five to get five. So go and check that out. Um, details are all in the description. Please be gambleware.org. Um, right, so let's have a quick look back at um, where do you want to start? Do we Leeds or the, those Harry Haddocks that were floating around St Mary's last night? I mean, which is I least guess, depressing? I mean, they're I d- both really depressing, but yeah. you know, one's been more recently. So let's go, let's go back a little bit. You know, we've been away we've for been a away. minute or two. It feels like it feels like forever. Yeah, I, yeah. I've, I've come back with worse video, but better audio. That's it's going to be fine. <laughs> so yeah, but let's go back all the way to Leeds and uh, let's suffer for everything. Yeah, but this is what this is. It's the he- healing session. It is a healing session. I see everyone's live in the chat session already. Um, if you are watching us on replay, stick your thoughts in the comment section. Um, we can still get a chance to read through all of those. Um, right. So let's have a, a brief look back at the Leeds result, which was devastating for two reasons. Of course, you know, we're, we're losing to fellow relegation rivals and we're giving someone else around us three points which which hurts the most really i have watched the highlights the extended highlights uh it just gets worse and worse really but it, it, here we are again talking about another disappointing loss and an underwhelming performance i mean i, I think in all honesty it probably could have been two nil i still can't understand how we can concede from where we did it, li- literally deal with it at the corner flag deal with it on the edge of the box and then to thread it through four defenders and a goalkeeper. Yeah, it's, you can pick out like the frame by frame, you can blame like every single player on the team for that goal. Like, mm-hmm. and they're like, we're obviously go fully in on Bednarak because he deserves it. How he made himself that small for a goal is it's insane. He almost, he turned into a void in space. It was amazing. <laughs> it was a magic trick. Yeah. And you know we, we, we can go in for, on Baz again. I'm sure we will, but mm-hmm. it's just everything. Nothing works in this mishmash, awful. What sort of system are they trying to play? Team? Yeah, it's 
it's such a ridiculously bloated squad with no one right to do anything. Mm -hmm. And nothing's changing. No, that's nothing. what that's that's what it reeks of. Like you just after that Chelsea game, you think it was just a free kick, wasn't it? It was just mm. it was just Prousey being Prousey. It was it, it again, and it's it, we, after that game we were all excited, and it's great because it is it was what you needed. It was a scrappy win, and you would just hope that would go into the next game. But the fact that it didn't just shows you what it was. It was a scrappy, very lucky win, mm -hmm. and here we are still. It's just so demoralising, and not even happened last night yet. But Leeds just felt I felt for all the fans that went up there, like having to make that trip again again for a team that lets you down again and it's all of them it's every single one of them yeah 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 it's it's kind of like um i mean uh, you know I, I i do think we played with a lot of guts and a lot of heart against chelsea uh but we didn't score a goal from open play so that's that's a worry that's a big worry um, and I think that's down to the, the the quality on the field at the moment. I think you know there is tactically things you can do, but ultimately, it, it's a worry that we're not scoring goals uh, from open play at the moment. It's it, it really is. I mean, you know, Warprouse can do his thing, and we can try and get uh, free kicks in dangerous areas, but ultimately, we can't rely on it. No. We can't rely on it. And um, you know, we, we were having a chat earlier. Me, me and Jack went for lunch today. We're like a proper couple. Um, we actually went for lunch and had a chat about it, and we, you know, we we did talk about the fact that, you know, there's been question marks on on Nuacho and you know Sulemana clearly is a is a decent talent, but I I honestly think you know you have got to give on Nuacho a bit of time to to embed in, and he, oh, yeah. you know, he, he did have a shot that on on target. I mean, I don't think it took um, the Leeds goalkeeper by much surprise that shot, but it was still a shot, so um, so don't make any chance. Um, <laughs> it's a comment here from Isaac McCarthy versus Baz like choosing between broken toothbrush and your finger yeah <laughs> yeah it's that's the thing you look you look at that squad and the players that we brought in as exciting as like Suleiman really is when you watch him play you're like great this is exactly what we need that little bit of flair on the side that that spark that's going to create chances mm-hmm and then you look at the rest of them. And you think, right? What's what's Bree likely going to be bringing to the table now that Jones is gone? Mm. I, Nothing. I, not not a lot. I don't think. And then no. you know, Orisic. Well, you know, his performance last night from everything I saw was pretty lackluster. There wasn't a lot there from him. Mm -hmm. And one of the sort of non-performances from last night. Yeah. Select a car. Okay, we you know when he was playing well, he was playing really well. Then you have a red card in the last night, and it's, it's seemed to have lost his it's head a little stupid. bit. That was so stupid. I mean, I think the two. I mean, we've moved. I've moved the banner down below, so <laughs> you can see we've, we've moved on to the next. Just move on, Leeds. Yeah. Um, also yeah, I said on Leeds, really. Um, but but yeah, two oh, two very stupid decisions. I think you know, in, in terms of like you know the misjudging of the ball from. Lianco to to you know give away handball. I did think that was harsh. You know, in in terms of you know letter of the law, but it's down by his side. I mean, I I don't know that that one for me seemed harsh. But the Coletta car was just stupidity. Like the idea yeah. that you can hit someone or strike out at someone in a penalty area, that's on him. That's on him. Yeah. That's that's utterly ridiculous. And he should know yeah. better. It, it just seems it just seems to lose his head a little bit, or just you know just that thing that we all think what Lianco's going to have. So that a car actually has, where it's a bit like, oh, he's he's very fiery. What's this attitude like? Mm -hmm. And it's just annoying because when you, like when it works, it's great. It is great. Like we, we saw, you know, so that car be so, you know, yeah. There was a point where we were we were crying out for him, and he and he performed. But now, ever since that red card, I think and. It could have been the mismanagement under Jones as well, or you know, for the same reason he's been out this past few weeks, that he would think like something like that was okay to do. Yeah, it's complete but nonsense. Yeah, it is. All, last night was almost sort of like crap team bingo card, wasn't it? You've had you've had nine nil, then you've had nine nil twice. Okay, and how about now you're out of the cup to Grimsby? Do you know what I mean? It just if it, you're it in does a division fit, it, below them lot. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? It's just. How like how many more different ways can you be embarrassed as a fan base? Yeah, there's, I don't think there's surely there's not a team that's had this many insanely stupid rubbish things happen to them. Like 
Okay, yeah. vo- should voiding we say obviously. It? Should we say it, Jack? We as a we as a fan base deserve more. That's that's the line, isn't it? We deserve more. We deserve more. And listen, you know, Sheffield Wednesday, and you know, all those teams. Absolutely, we're not. It's not that bad. <laughs> but we're talking sort of, you know, where we are right now, and it is. Oh, it just sucks, man. Everything, around, everything about it just sucks. And just the moments you think are bright and like, yeah, here we go. He's finally doing something. It's even worse. Yeah. Yeah. Grid 3 was our 9 nil this season. Kind of feels, yeah, exactly that. Exactly that. that. But we we struggled against low league. This isn't the first time. Oh, like, every, we, time. We str- every time. Like Sheffield Wednesday, Blackpool. And here we are, Grimsby. It's just... Oh. Which doesn't, re- doesn't smell good for the championship next season. You know? No, it does not. It's going to be, right. a, it's going to be a difficult time for us. We're going to have to use those parachute payments really well. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's just, yeah, that's what it feels like. You're right. Come out of that last night's game, it's it's another 9 0. It's another, for God's sake. Like, yeah. I was a comment up here in regards to the ball being out of play. Where was it? Where was it? Um, I can't find it. I can't find it. <laughs> can't find it. Comment section gun nuts. You know, in regards to the, the ball being out of play for the, the other one. <sighs> Don't know. Don't know. I thought it was harsh. I thought it was ridiculous. But should be able to score goals against Grimsby. And we did, yeah, but they yeah. were ruled off for offside. That, but that's the thing though. You can you can we can blame a hundred different things, but if this mm-hmm. team were playing anywhere near well or moderate or average or okay. Create more chances. You would you would create create more chances. We would see the fact that we, like how little draws we have this season shows you just how we're not in these games. Mm-hmm. There's no fight there. Like once you go down, we're down. Yeah. And then you know we're still you know, credit to Jones. I thought he, he almost cut out you know dropping points from winning positions, and then he finally did that, and that was obviously the last the last draw. But I even missed those conceding, days conceding first. Yeah, right. Yeah, if he always conceded first. We never we didn't score. So, <laughs> but one time we went ahead and we're back against Wolves. He was gone. Mm-hmm. But at least sort of like, you know, so under Ralph, you would see a draw or two, mm-hmm. a bit of fight of something there. You know, just anything. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's another thing we mentioned earlier, wasn't it? In regards to like, had we stuck with Ralph, would we be in this position? I mean, still, you know, it would have been due a change, but you can't help but think he would have done a lot less damage than Nathan Jones. Uh, so it's on Here's the board. Here's the thing, right? It's on the board. Everything that we were when we came up to the Premier League is everything that we're not now. Do you know what I mean? Under the, in the Marcus, in, the, in, that, in that whole era, we were really just forward-thinking team. Like that we, what kept us up is our ability to kind of just... F- figure out what's, what was coming for us and just adapt yeah. to it a little bit and be, you know, we were so good at that for the first four or five years in the Premier League. And now, other end of it, you know, we were too late with Ralph. You know, it, we, we should have sacked him in the summer, had new mm-hmm. manager in. We were too late with that. Then you get the wrong manager completely. And then you, you know, it's and then, but at the same time, when Ralph was there, okay, keep him, but then buy him that striker. We, we, too late yeah. on that. Mm-hmm. And then in the January window, bringing a striker that probably, considering the way that Ralph was looking to play, would have been pretty good for Ralph yep. in that system. But yep. we didn't. So it's everything is just mixed, mixed and matched. And, even, that, and that just comes down to the team again. Like there's like nine different systems in that team, <laughs> and none of them fit all of it. And one of them, do you know what I mean? There's just mm-hmm. with the, the opposite of where we were when we came up. And that's why it's just so sad. It's, this feel like the end. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Finbar brings up the next some point at Newport. Newport are two places below Grimsby. And we <laughs> beat them eight nil last season. Yeah. Away. 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 Easy. Easy win. Didn't even have to think about it. Playing. You know what I mean? It, Redmond. Redmond had a banger. <laughs> yeah. Teller did. Yeah. We even got some youth in the squad there as well. Um, <laughs> that's very kind of you, James. Uh, we, we're trying to keep it as light as possible. Um, but with what Southampton are doing at the moment, it's pretty hard. It's a it's a hard thing to do. But we're here to chat about it, make ourselves feel a little bit better about the situation, if that's possible to do so. Um, but we can certainly uh, still look ahead. And uh, there's still hope. There's still hope. Should we move Is on? There? To- <laughs> Is there? 
Oh my god! Yes, the the youth team are banging them in. Um, oh, yeah, let's talk about, so, let's talk about that. Yeah, the women's. Yeah, they are. That is good. Yeah. So you know that there, there there is hope for the future. Hope for the future, indeed. Um, right then, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, let's go for uh, the Southampton Leicester preview. The whole reason we're here for the show is up next. Uh, under the lights at St Mary's because it's a um, five thirty kickoff. Probably still dark then, isn't it? It's only March. Um, only March. Flipping that. Only March, man. O- only March. It's only March. Um, man. We're facing Leicester City, who themselves disappointingly dropped out. Well, disappointing for them. We, I can care. Um, disappointing for them, dropped out the FA Cup against Blackburn Rovers, who are pushing for promotion in a championship. So, not really similar. Um, but no, but similar. I'm sure disappointing for them to, to lose at home to lower league position. Um, they they were sort of on a on a bit of a, a whirlwind um let me see i've got i've got a graphic i've got a graphic showing their previous results um but here are the um the lineups here let me move this banner so you can actually see what i'm looking at there we go um they've lost their last two in the league that banner's still in the way isn't it sorry sorry <laughs> there we go uh, they lost their last two in the league but also uh won the two previous before that but in terms of actual points between us i mean it's only two wins between us um so they're not a million miles away but i think the the worry for me is looking at the stat in goals um they've conceded 42 which is actually won more than us uh but they've scored 36 and we've mm. scored 19 in the league um so that's a bit of concern i kind of can see goals uh on saturday night yeah, do you know what? It, th- this game, because it's Leicester, scares me a little, a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Le- Leicester under the lights and Southampton are in bad form. Always just scares me a bit. Do you know what? I didn't even put the two to two together until you just literally said that. That's it's Yeah. It, it, it's not where I want to be in my life because I was there before and it really it was, it was really pretty bad. So it's... Yeah, you're right. Goals. I see goals, and I can't believe like, I'm in a situation where I'm like, I kind of want McCarthy to start, but I, McCarthy will concede nine goals. I saw, I've seen it happen. <laughs> mm-hmm. I just feel yeah. like, for me, Leicester aren't even a team that when I look at this season, like excite me or scare me. And when I've when I have watched them play, it's kind of been a bit fifty fifty. Same as last season with Le- Leicester and the Rogers have been a consistently. Should be doing better. Why they have, but they haven't got any money. Understandable, up and down sort of team. Mm. And then when they come to us, I'm like, I think they're just going to score goals. <laughs> it is a big concern. I mean, the Madison is is back from his illness, um, so he will be back in contention. You know, they've got some decent players in their side. Um, we did beat them at their ground early in the season. Uh, a two-one victory with a double from Shea Adams um, back when he was scoring goals. Um, but you know that 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 says it all in terms of like we scored nineteen league goals and they scored thirty-six. Yet they're still only effectively two wins above us. I mean, it is it is a congested um, yeah. place at the bottom of the table. Uh, we're not cut adrift, but that is a you know there's a is a big difference in terms of the fact that we just need to score goals and. Yeah, we brought in the talent to do so. It's just whether or not it's actually going to happen. So, yeah, that's the, the sort of the, the, the now the very worst bit is that there's no one to blame <laughs> at this point. Now, mm-hmm. you've, had three, you've had three managers, we've had a go at the board, and the board bought. It's like, right, well, everyone's kind of done the things that they said that they're just they're just not happening. You're not, we're not down here because you know, of, of a certain it, we're down there because we're playing poorly. If the, yeah. like, there's no other real reason for it. We can we can blame lots of stuff, mm-hmm. but in reality, it comes down to it. Players were brought in, coaching staff was changed. The current guy is some that we believe in, mm-hmm. and they're just not performing. And that's why we're down there. Yeah, and it's just it just hurts. And and, and it's just it, the team that's so mid that Leicester are. I'm just like I'm now just scared. I'm like, oh, they're going to come and spank us because they do have goals. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, yeah they do. They yeah, they do. Is that, it's coming here from Mark. Is Shea back yet? Is Shea injured? Yeah, he got... Did I, was it him? No, Oris got the concussion, didn't they? Didn't they? And then... Uh, yeah. yeah, I think Shea just got a, a knock in training. I remember that was... I spent, kept, kept him uh, out a few games. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we kind of definitely need a masterclass. Um, that's for sure. Um, and you think that's coming from Shea Adams, do you? Yes. Yes. What? The comeback kid. <laughs> the comeback kid, indeed. No, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, right then, should we go on to the predicted 11? Should we do this one? Yeah, come on then. Come on then. I, so, I, 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 who's out? So... Livermore is still out. Alcaraz still out. Is Salasu back in? Um. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's my super confident. Uh, that's probably yeah. I would say so. Yeah. Put it this way: is if if Salasu and Belakovic are about sixty percent, they go straight in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No arguments there. No. The void indeed. of Bednarak should be away from this team. Select car as much as we want him. More we want him to be the, the player that he was or what player that we've seen. Yeah. It's just too it's just too hot here, isn't he? Yeah, it is indeed. Um right then. Let's put it in. So now we're gonna do the predicted eleven. Oh, I forgot to ban last time, so let's do it. Let's do it properly. Ooh, hey. A real channel. Yeah, look at that. We got okay. a sponsor, we got banners, we're going we're having a good time. Yes. YouTube. <laughs> Actually working. Actually working. I love this. So, so now we're going to go through our predicted 11. It's always the 11 that we would like to see rather than the side that we think we're actually going to see, although there will be a little bit of that influence in there. Uh, so as always, please remember to stick in your preferred 11 into the chat section and we'll be going through those straight after. Um, and it may, it may even influence our choice. You never know. Um, right. Who are we putting in between the sticks, Jack? Are we are we feeling that it really is just you know which are they? The, 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 what, there's a, the lesser of two evils. Is, I'm not describing is, our goalkeepers it, as evil. That's that's mean. But, it is yeah. so difficult you know because it is so McCarthy to have his first game back against Grimsby and can see two. But granted, there were penalties. Were he penalties. didn't really yeah. he didn't really have much to do. You know, say what you want, but it does just something reek about like McCarthy. He's come back. He's, he's Grins scored. <laughs> so, do I want him or do you want Baz? Um, um, I call it um, I'm Baz. Cavalera. <laughs> Big Willie. I was, I was thinking Baz in. He looked a bit flaky against Leeds, but I just don't like. He's a he again. It's a, it's exactly the same as McCarthy where. You shoot at him and it goes in. Mm. This is the hardest. This is the, the hardest ever predicted eleven I've ever had to do this season. Yeah, this is just ridiculous. Because I'm just literally like, I don't know. Listen, up. I honestly don't know. I don't know. I, just, I think listen, put Baz because it's going to be Baz. What are we doing here? Are we going to do what we think he's going to do, or we, what do we want? Um, what well, we want. But with an influence of what we think is actually going to happen. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it nice and easy. I'm going to put in what I think is concrete. Okay. Yeah, put in what's concrete. That's definitely going in. Yeah. Is he is is he is he all right? Is he fit? He's... Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, uh, oh, let's do the do the man some capitals. You think? Oh, you think he'll start, do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what you done there. You see what you did there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, I thought Armstrong Stewart was all right. Yeah, Stu can Stu can get a start. Yeah. Got a new capital letter button. What are you doing? This Mac keyboard's getting really, <laughs> really ropey. It's like I type with my elbows sometimes. Um, who am I cutting over the, the left side? Okay, uh, it's, yeah, I know. I know. Oh. Who put in there? Who put in there? Oh, I see. You're gonna go two up top, are you? Um, because I assume I know where two starting. Top ball. 
Nice. Suddenly, somebody's not as confident in spelling it Unawacha as he was last time we were on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to spell Unawacha? No, no. Tool pool's fine. I'll take that. <laughs> um, oh, right. I'm going to go to the chat section for these. I'm going to go to the chat section. It's we're going to do this man. together. Right. Here we got. Here we got. Um, I'm seeing Bradley here. Scurring Gav, Cockapedias, Bella Kotchak, and Sally. Larios. Larios. I know Larios Ooh. was back training. I doubt. I doubt. I doubt if he, if he straight, if he, if he straight back in over Peru, yeah. of, of Thunder Thunderbolt Peru. You know, he's he's what was he? Our second top goal scorer. <laughs> mm. I think we need someone quick and physical though. So I would probably. So I haven't seen enough of Larios, have we? I haven't seen enough of him to make it that. that I enjoyed decision. him at. I enjoyed him at Aston Villa. Doesn't Aston mm. Villa seem like a long time ago? Mm. But do you know what? I look back at all those results, all those results, and I think, what a waste. What a yeah. waste. All those results where we lost 1 0. Are you talking about. Easily been. Are you talking about what a waste from the team or what a waste of time from for us? <laughs> no, both. Both. But it's just like, just nothing 1 0 losses that effectively are going to be costing us big. Absolutely huge. Um. Okay, okay. As there's been some validation for what I was thinking up here. I'm gonna stick Shea in next to him. He's taking Shea in, eh? I yeah. do think if if Paul can take it down on his chest and just play it off the Shea and Shea can just dart in, it's just he can yeah. finish. Good lord. Yeah. Who did you just yeah. put in then? Who did you just put in? Then? Oh, Lavia. Oh, Lavia. Sally and then Sally. ABK. Yeah. You don't need to abbreviate that, do you? Nah. Yeah, I'm um, putting ABK in there because Coletta Cars uh, been naughty. So, absolutely. So See, that's a team, isn't it? That's a that's a football team. Any any thoughts on that, Jack? I mean, I'll give you my logic. I mean, effectively, I think you know Harvey Barnes is going to cause us all kinds of problems on the wing. So, I kind of want some experience in there. I want some experience in yeah. there, and I also think we're going to need some pace to. To, to be them so Suleiman is a given I also just like the way Stuart Armstrong plays in terms of he's tricky and he can do that and uh, get a free kick around there which would be also very very useful but he'll also probably have a shot as well posh camera's gone out there we go we're back um, so yeah that, that's See, my logic I, only, I may be only moving at one pixel per second but at least my camera doesn't go off <laughs> it's true um, also have uh, Onyacho up top because I think Shea will drop yeah. back and work hard between the midfield line and this like that so I think in terms of uh, his hard work is going to be paid off because he's got someone to hit it at you know in terms of if he's playing up top with Sekumara or Adam Armstrong they're kind of you know not that target person so I think Shea uh, will be a lot more active in the deeper role uh, with Tulpal, uh holding out up top but I don't know. I like that. I like. Would you make any changes to that? Or do you disagree in any areas no, that I've expressed? No, I think of what we've got. This is this is what I would do. You know, I'm sort of over, sort of experimenting. Sort of like where, where I don't know where Aribo sits in this in this squad. So as much as I re- would love him to be on that right side, cutting in, yeah. he just he's just not that guy. I think you know he he does need to be where Prousey plays really. Yeah. Yeah, and I think Prowse needs to play a little bit deeper because he just hasn't doesn't he doesn't have that that little jet of energy that you need to sit behind the strikers like that. So I, he needs to be deeper. Yeah, like as 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 fun as, as a little journey that that was of Prowse playing slightly forward. Mm. I just don't think it. Don't, I think it, it counteracts everything else we're doing. So no, that is what I would I would play. And there's no one else that I would say was in competition for anything. No. How was obviously I didn't see the whole. Game. How does anybody know what? How was um the Niles like against Leeds? I thought from what I saw, uh, and feel free in the chat section to completely disagree with me. Uh, but he looked like he was uh, as good as he normally is. Um, but there were just a couple of moments where he could have perhaps committed himself a little bit more, and uh, stopped us from conceding before it got into the danger area. That's just my thought. Yeah. But um. But he's certainly not as bad as he was when he was playing under Jones, who was clearly trying to get the manager. I think he's. I think 
he was brought in with the fourth. Oh, he's a utility player. He can sort of play anywhere in the in the defensive area from set, you know from the from the midfield back. He's yeah. just not that. He's just a he's a he's a full back. A tra- he's a traditional full back. Mm-hmm. There was a few times, but there was a few times where he pushed forward a little bit, and that was you know really enjoyed seeing that. And yeah. he was he's been playing better from there. But not enough to take Kyle Walker Peters out. But is yeah. uh, is Kyle fit to go? Is the question. Yeah, yeah, it's a good question. Good question, indeed. Oh, we got we got Isaac joining us. Let's see if he wants to join us for this uh, chat on the on the. Uh, here we go, Isaac. How are we doing? Welcome to the stream. Keeping well? Yeah, I'm not doing too bad. Yourself? Good. Yeah, very good. Very good. Thanks. Uh, I thought you'd bring you on on the predicted eleven section. Any thoughts on this lineup? Would you make any changes? No, not personally. No. <laughs> <laughs> love that I love that kind of disagreement like yeah the boys have got it right no need to mess with it they've created they've gone and got, come online created a bit of art leave it alone awesome awesome what I do Isaac I'll put you back in the green room and then uh, okay. we'll bring you back on when I've finished the particular 11 section alright yep, no <laughs> there we go it was just in case you had any thoughts and I was going to go you got that all wrong we're going to move this all over the place um, but just well, don't say that because on... now he's now he's going to sit there and think right. Well, I have to be argumentative when I come back on now. <laughs> because let's be fair, that is what I would do. I'd be there greasing. I'd be like, right, I got got to disagree with everything they say now. <laughs> Outrageous! Isaac is always balanced in his opinions. Yep, he's a good man. Um, but just going back to what you said about um, uh, Aribo, it's been a real struggle because I think he doesn't really suit the systems that we're playing. No, and this whole kind of high press quick sort of swarming football that we seem to see Ruben Sellers and and what Ralph used to do uh was yeah it's just not that and I just don't see him tracking back and blistering himself up the pitch it just I just don't see that um <laughs> a message from Isaac yeah, I no, he's... Never... <laughs> nice. yeah no Aribo isn't he doesn't seem to be that kind of pressing player, the kind of very aggressive. He even like when he was playing on, you know, when he was playing on the wings, he was mm-hmm. he wouldn't he wasn't tracking back ever, <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. So he's just not that guy. I think he wants to be the guy that sits in the middle and can play off the strike because he is he wants to be that number ten role. Which you know, yeah. given what we are, say if you start if you put Aribo in where Shea is, maybe mm-hmm. Aribo and Onuachu could be something pretty fun. Yeah, I'd like to imagine yeah. that would be great if you had played those two up top, and you know now that Prowse is sitting deeper, mm-hmm. I just it's it's difficult to say. But it's, I'm also feel bad for Alcaraz, you know, because I think he was starting to really perform and starting mm-hmm. to come into a bit of a position, and you know that goal against Wolves was great, and he's just the the passion that he shows. But yeah, and a dozing, all these players are now losing out because we're just in a position where it's like I don't know what, what when they're going to start again, like. I think we all thought, like, you know, we heard Seller say that there are certain players that probably won't play again this season. Mm-hmm. And I think we all sort of thought that's probably Orisic and that's probably Nate the Miles and that's probably um, Bree. But <laughs> at a point, I'm like, it might be Alcaraz and it might be a dozy. Because <laughs> we can't. Yeah. Like, no, I just don't see mm. how they. Uh, if, if we're playing our strongest team every week, which we have to do, yeah. they, just don't, they just don't start. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it is definitely a worry. And, and I think also Alcaraz kind of sits better in this position here, doesn't he? Yeah. So. I know we yeah. don't want to say it, Mike. I know probably something we talk about later, but we had that little It'll conversation. We had, the li- that little, we had that little conversation about the uh, talk sport story that came out this afternoon. Yeah. Well, the, and the what, surprising one. Yeah, the surprising one. And, and one of us, we won't we won't say which one of us is because that would be, that'd be mean said what would life be like without Prowsey and is he maybe and is he maybe you know you know this is live Jack. I know what I know what it is. I know what it let, is. Let me put away the, the particular because we're we're done with that. We're done with that. Hang on, let me just move this way so we can we can see let's get the, let's the get guilt spicy sweat right down my face. As let's you're get doing spicy this. let's get spicy. And listen, like I said, one of us said this, but we won't say me. which one of us said it. Right. It was me. I said <laughs> but, it. Wow, he's gonna, he's gonna take ownership of this. Of yeah. you know, we saw I, I that have, story, yeah. and it's what is life like without Prowsey? And when mm-hmm. you think of like what life has been like with Prowsey, consistently in the team, not taking a break, it's not been amazing. Right. But he has been the best part about it. It's this. Yep. 
it's a conundrum which is difficult to accept or swallow. And you can say anything you want about it, but you yeah. know, what does that say? What does that team look like this weekend going into it with Alcarez and Lavia in that position mm-hmm. and Ari Bo slightly ahead? Yep. Yeah. Exactly that, and 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 I and I think my point being, you know, it's, it's a case of what does it look like without him, but also, if it hadn't been for Prowse, we wouldn't have won a single game. This exactly. Time of the year. It's we don't want to be having this conversation, mm-hmm. and it's stupid, and it's but but devil's advocate. What does that team look like, and does it does it does it move anybody? It does indeed. Yeah, yeah. So now that we've just done the uh, 11, let's quickly do the score predictions and then we can move on to all the other topics. Is that the best way to do it? Yes, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it that, yeah, yeah, that yeah. way. Okay, so let's do the score prediction part of the show where uh, me and Jack are going to give our score predictions and as always, stick your score predictions for the Leicester game at home in the ch- in the chat section and we'll go through those straight after we've given ours. Right, so I think it's it's my turn to go first, isn't it? Yeah. It is my it's turn to go first. Definitely your turn. Um, this is going to be hard. Uh, I am going to predict goals. I'm going to, shock horror, predict that we concede St. Mary's. Um, don't know where I'm getting this idea from. Um, have you got Leicester... The Sorry? Have you got the script on there, have you? <laughs> uh, I've got a script. I wish I did. I wish I did. I wish I could give you all good news, but um, I can't. Uh, I'm going to go with a... 2-1 win to Southampton because I have to predict us to Love win. That. Otherwise, why are we here? Why are we here? Um, no, I think there's, in all honesty, I can see us conceding because Leicester score lots of goals. We know that. Um, and But they also concede lots of goals. So with that in mind, I can see it being a repeat. And so I'm going to go with 2-1. Nice. What are we saying, Jack? What are we saying? It's so difficult, man. Like I've been, like it's been, it's been so down this entire show. Like this is the most depressing one. I'm gonna write it's, in what it's, I it's think it's going to be. I'm gonna write Which, in what yeah. I think it's going to be. Okay, I, I got locked in. I locked in. It's got locked in. Right. Considering everything we've said, we are mm-hmm. going to concede. Yeah. Right. And the score is going to be. It's going to be 6-1. And this is where the turnaround starts, mate. This is where the turnaround starts. We're going to win 6-1. Prowsey's going to score three goals. It's going to be Hatcher. Paul Anuachu is going to get a brace. This is it, mate. Positive attitude starts now, my friend. We've had the men. We've had that. We've had that bit of the show. Sad Jack's gone. Now we're winning 6-1. <laughs> now we're winning 6-1. Because that's so terrible. Brendan Rogers is a joke. We're going to get there and smoke him. <laughs> Perhaps he's going to take four free kicks. Three of them are going to go in, and one of them's going to hit James Madison in the face. <laughs> you done? Yeah. <laughs> That's what's happening. Is that is that your honest prediction? Six one. Lock it in, baby. Right. Fine, fine. I didn't write that. I actually predicted you right. Put three two. But here I am. And you've just doubled it in yep. a way. In a way. Yeah. Only uh... seen the one though. Fine, fine. There we go. Well, we can see the one. You know, Baz. Baz is in goal, so yeah, I feel better about if that. Myself happens, now. If that happens, sorry, not that. If that one happens, wow, wow. This is it. This is we've had, we've had our sad times. It's over now. <laughs> yeah. Let's all just let's all just be happy and move on. Nice, nice. Right then. <laughs> now that that completely um, realistic prediction has gone in. Uh, we can go. We can go Shut through. Up. The, through no, the no, 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 <laughs> Oh dear, dear. Yeah, I thought you were going to predict the draw. Then there we go. Um, no, I'm not, I've, I've not gone crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I'm going to start with Josh. I think that's the first one. Josh, the first one. Yep, 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 yep. Good work, everyone in the chat room, by the way. Plenty of activity going on. I love the way that there's conversation going on whilst we're having conversations. So yeah, everyone yeah, just yeah. has a chat around. That's great. That's what it, it's what it's for. That's what it's for. <laughs> uh, right, Josh, I'm going to start with you. Cheeky 2-1 win. Oh, like that. Love that. Uh, could go more though. Could go, could go higher. <laughs> Madison for them on Nuacho header and a James Ward Prowse free kick. Yes, please break the record at St. Mary's. That'd be amazing. Uh, in the 90th minute to equal Beckham's record. 
Actually, yeah, I want two. I want two, so you can break two. it. Um, I've said I want, I want and a three, it. and I want the fourth to break James Madison. Break, break. <laughs> yeah, I want the I want three. I want I want a hat trick of free kicks, and then I want the fourth one to hit James Madison in the face. Oh, okay, and... okay, okay, cool. Yeah, that's what I thought you said. I wanted to hit him in the eye just hard enough so his his, his vision's off for any free kicks he may have to take. Um, Kevin's going to go for a 1-1. One, one. Phil's going for a 1-0 to Leicester. Madison score in the 92nd minute. Car, can you imagine the mood at St. Mary's if that happens? Uh, YV's going for if it's open, 3-1 Leicester. If it's boring and defensive, maybe 1-1. One, one. We live in... <laughs> there's a the hope. Um, Mike's going for a 1-0 Saints. Sulemana solo goal. Similar to Buffal. God, I'd love to see that. Um, AD Saint... Also going for Saints 1, Leicester 3. Sorry to be negative, chaps. Ethan's going for a 3-0 uh, to Leicester. Second two is going for a 5-5. Wow. Um, Phil's making the point. Mike, we cannot score. You have a point. You have a point, but... Sorry, no, sorry, no, 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 no. We couldn't score until now. <laughs> yes. That's the story. No. That this, this, that's, the, that's the story I've written... Everybody I'm not the one that's put six it. down there. I'm not the one that's put that six in there. Okay, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It's visualizations, gang. You just put. I don't think enough of you make dream boards and um, you know, or have uh, you know, dream catches. But yeah. Start throwing more pennies in wishing wells. That stuff all does make sense and it all works out in the end. So, chop chop. <laughs> Still going 86. Have to be positive. Imagine results going our way this weekend. 2 1 us. I guess some results did go our way last night with uh, Wolves and Everton losing. Uh, I will say Mark... as well, the scores are going our way as well tonight. The team of 3 1. Don Ballard just scored. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Like yeah, that. Go, go team. Member of the channel, Mark Rich is going for a 2 1 Saints with VR giving James Will Prowse two highly dubious penalties to even things up. <laughs> I want two dubious free kicks. I'll take those. Um, Finbar's going for three one Leicester. No confidence in this team. Ugh. I kind of expected this to be honest with you. Uh, Finbar's only watched the first half of the show. He's not seen up to my score prediction. <laughs> Adrian's going for. Uh, I want a team reaction. And therefore, three nil Saints. Um, and I think Liam's going for a two one Saints. And everyone around us to lose, and we'll be touching distance. Hope is all I've got left. Um, yeah, indeed. Uh, Hearts and I meet 9 0 Saints, head saying 2 2 draw. Uh, I think Ethan has changed its score prediction here. 7 1 light work. I imagine that's in, in relation to uh, your prediction there, Jack. So I see stuff going on there. Uh, Bradley's going for a 2 0 Leicester, but if we play Bella Kotchap and Salisu, I do strongly believe we can get something. We definitely need something. This does feel like last hope. Uh, indeed, right, any more? James is going for a 2-1, Southampton, optimistic, love that. Uh, apparently, Madison is um, back healthy, he was unwell, he was unwell. He's going to um, be hurt by the end of the game, though, that free yeah. kick. Look at this, Jack, you've swayed everyone. I'll oh, blow it, I hate being negative, let's just make... Uh, Here we go! Game. <laughs> Keep believing, changing my score, it's going to be 2-1 win, come on you Reds. Here come the odd stepper, murderer! See, believe, achieve. There's positivity you're putting through the internet, Jack. You did that. None of my conservative 2 1. Although there's a 2 1 there. So your 6 1 has swayed. The... Come on, baby. Yeah. 6 1. Uh, Lord is going for a 2 0 Leicester. Going to move on quickly. Uh, Jack, you're a bos bottle of positivity. He is indeed. He is indeed. No. I know how this, many coffees he has. This is well. a bottle of positivity. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, everyone's wishing for that 6 1. Um, look at that. Uh, <laughs> not much positive there. There we go. If we get 6 1, I run down my street naked. There we go. I've put that on the internet. So it's there. There we That's go. That's fine, but You've don't let anybody know the reason that this is the reason you'll do that. Just <laughs> don't tie us to that. Yeah. But I'll go we get for kicked it. off the air. Get kicked off the air. Right, there we go. Thank you so much for your score prediction. If you're watching this on replay, feel free to stick in your score prediction in the comments section. Uh, we can always go through those afterwards. Right then, um, Isaac has been incredibly patient in the green room. I do apologise yeah, for, for keeping them in there. So I'm going to bring in Isaac now. Isaac, welcome back to the show. Uh, I know you're doing well. Uh, what, what was your question about or comment about? Uh, which one? 
<laughs> anything, 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 anything. This is your time, bud. Anything at all. The, the floor is yours. So were, were you at the Grimsby game last night? Uh, no. Um, Lucky you. I know. <laughs> I, I just, I just came downstairs after having my dinner, and my dad was just like, uh, "I think he was having the Grimsby game on," and I came down just as Theo Walcott's goal got uh, called off for offside. <sighs> yeah, it's a good goal, but it was um, offside. And I said. So we've conceded two against Grimsby. It's like, well, we conceded penalties, and I said, well, that's still conceding. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And he just went, yeah, "What do you expect? If it, if we're losing to Grimsby, then we're at the bottom of the floor at this point. Bottom of the bottom of the floor, bottom of the barrel. What am I on about? Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, we're, no, it's, we're, 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 below, we're lower than the floor at this point. It's uh, <laughs> we're at the core of the earth. That's it. You got it. The core of the earth. We're, we're in that sweet magna phase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it feels somewhat cold down here. It does indeed. Now I'm going to bring on um, uh, the the other topic that I had, uh, which was general uh, expectations, which I forgot to put in the banner um, for. But I, I'm going to so bring up close a, to being a good channel. So, so close. close, so close to doing it like that. But but in terms of what our expectations are for the remainder of the season i mean it's 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 a bit of a tough watch at the moment but i think all in all a lot of us fans are somewhat um consigned to defeat already i think it's it's something that uh, a lot of us are coming to terms with already but do you see is is there hope at the end of the tunnel do do you see us getting anything out of this um you <laughs> That's the it. whole of the fan base is, is relying on your comment that you're about to make right now and yeah. we'll we'll hold on tight to that so think wisely with your words <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay optimistic because that's what this channel is yeah um, th- there is a possibility as with ever, as with anything there's always a possibility but please just we, we need to win against Leicester if we don't win against Leicester, Things start to look ugly, and you know we've got Man United after this, so yep. and Brentford, and then Tottenham. So you know Tottenham. All right, anyone can beat Tottenham, but <laughs> Man United and Brentford, we don't really stand a chance if we don't beat Leicester. And then we've got West Ham away, which would be a huge game if we do end up getting some points. So yeah. There's yeah. always a chance. Um, now, this is going to sound morbid. It's not. I have a positive okay. about this. All right. If we go down, James Will Prowse is gone. Oh, he went there. Oh, he went there. Uh, I mean... I'll go there. But what I will say is that's my theory of why James Will Prowse is playing out of his skin because he doesn't want to leave. Yeah. You're not wrong. He, he doesn't. He, he, you know, he wants to break all these records at Southampton. He is Mr. Southampton. Yeah, he is indeed. And I also spotted that I spelled expectations wrong earlier, so I apologise, <laughs> and I've corrected that now. My, my, my hope is that James Will Prowse can go in that changing room and go, you know what, if if we go down, I might have to leave because of either my wages or whatever other stuff goes on behind the scenes. And he'll say to them, look, if you want to keep me, play out mm-hmm. your skin for me rather than the fans ignore the fans ignore the managers just play for yourself Mm -hmm. yeah and our own sort of you know reputation yeah i think i think there is a a lot of pride that is at stake for for prousey because i think deep down he wants to be a one club player yeah and and i think the the age of the is it kind of it doesn't really make that much sense for him to to move to another club at this stage in his career you know what is he possibly going to get Maybe he might get a league title if he goes to, to the right club. But so that that itself kind of goes against exactly what I just said. But you see my point entirely in the sense that ultimately the, the legacy of being a, a Southampton player who broke records, broke, broke a free kick record uh, in the Premier League. His conversion rate is way higher than anyone else in the European leagues. Um, so he's clearly got talent there. But is it is it fair for us as a fan base to rely solely on Prowse. Is it fair for the... It's not the fair entire... on Prowse. It's not fair on him. Yeah, exactly. No, exactly. You, you, you've got to carry the expectation of hundreds of thousands of fans. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and to carry that for one man is a lot. Um, but let's be honest, we're a mess. Mm-hmm. We, we, need, we need a leader at this stage. And the manager's not doing that. The owners aren't doing that. 
James Will Prowse is hinting at doing it, but of course he's not. He's still what 26, 27? He's 28. 28. Is he 28? 28. Is he 28? I know, right? Old man, 28. Not us, not like us kids. Okay. Hang on. Let me go to Wikipedia oh, just to lock that one in. 28 years old. Yes, he is. Yeah, he's um, a, pro, pro, probably the same age as me, which which scares me because I know how bad, bad my knees feel. <laughs> well, the thing is, compared to everyone else, he's like a granddad. Yeah, in that squad, he really is. But that's yeah. that. He is. He, the thing is, though, he's 28. But he's captain of Southampton 28, so that's about 45 in most other people's like, lives. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, at 28, he's probably got four more seasons in him, though, at least. Well, just four. I think I think he's such a powerhouse. I think he's... He at goes least four play. more seasons, yeah. Uh, he, he, he goes. I have yeah. a question about football, though. Um, why do oh, we always good. say... <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> why do we always say that um, footballers have a back foot? Like, do you realise that? You know, okay. Southampton are on the back foot. Do, do, do footballers have like three feet or four feet that we don't know about? Are they secretly <laughs> millipedes or? I don't know the answer, honest answer to that question. I, I don't know, but I, we do hear that um, saying a lot. Um, but we do. In a sense, we are. we are all millipedes in that we have many legs for our time. Um, I could get lo- I could get, get deep on us, but this is a football show, so I shan't. <laughs> Indeed, indeed. No, we don't. Really. Um, but just just to finish off, Isaac. I mean, your your score prediction. I, I saw it was in in the private chat. You did put something in there. Have you have you got a final score prediction? Are you sticking with that one in the chat? So you actually reveal to everyone else what that was. Well, uh, yeah, not point five nil. Yeah. <laughs> so you get five well, nil saints. Five nil <laughs> saints. That's, that's, that, yeah, I don't like that. Well, not point five nil. Well, not point it, five nil in my mind reads as <laughs> five nil to Leicester, and then the foxes ain't getting nothing. Yeah. Then I don't know. Not point five nil is my way of saying uh, it, it could be nil nil without saying it's nil nil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's well, halfway between a one nil and a nil nil, but I'll, I'll go with two one. Okay, like that. Um, That's better. That's better. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll go with um, the pigeon scoring first. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a drone coming on the pitch just allowing a Leicester goal that'd be nice yeah one hits off Brendan Rodgers and manages to trickle him <laughs> no I'm just kidding uh, and, the, and, and, a, and, a, and a light show to top it all off <laughs> <laughs> no I think I think on a actual we'll finally get some goals mm-hmm. um, yeah. and Leicester will probably score through Madison or Vardy as yeah. normal yeah absolutely um Yes, awesome. but um, some positives. Uh, I have my uni application has been sent. If you would like to know, oh, congratulations, man! Congratulations, yeah. So if if Go that get, if if anything happens at Saints, then he's in. He's got he's got <laughs> a uni app and a CV. I've got a uni application. I can forget about Saints. <laughs> Fantastic. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks ever so much for coming on the show, Isaac. Much yeah, appreciated. Thanks for having me. Certainly have you. Good one, buddy. Good one. Good one. Now I've just spotted that Lester, Lester till I die is in the chat section. Should we get Chris on? Mate, uh, Chris, can mate, you come on? Come, come, come have a little chat. Come have a little chat. Because you know we we've done our homework on Lester, but have we? Have we a little bit. You know, I've, I I actually did. I, know, I actually did. I know you've got, I know you've got a show in like five minutes or something. I mean, oh, it is starts he? at nine, right? Yeah, but send him the link agree. quick. He only needs to come on three four minutes <laughs> to 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 appear <laughs> smug. He's welcome on. It's always welcome on. Get over it, Chris. Get over. Don't worry about your show. I am. I am. I do you know what. Every season, I look forward to Chris, and then this season, I think it's the double that we haven't uh, we've had a chat. I miss you, yeah. bud. I miss, sh- I miss showing you the shirts. I'm going live at nine p.m. Give me two minutes. You got two minutes. <laughs> Give me two yeah. minutes. It's not nine p.m. yet. Two minutes. Right. Hold on. Hold on, I, you... I'll try and get the link, Chris. Hold on. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Get through it. Um, let me go through the chat and so see what were general thoughts were. Why are you saying the conversation just got weird? Yep. Did it? I don't know. What were we chatting about? Um, James here. James James was messaging me whilst I was at the theatre last night, and I knew something was going wrong because my phone was buzzing in my pocket. And I was like, something bad's happening at St Mary's. I just know it. Uh, squad is far too big. No one has an idea of what formation fits for any opponents. 
and half the fringe players want out, hence no impact subs. Yep. Keep it light, James. Come on. Come on, um, come on James. But no, I've I, sent I you, do. I've sent you a link in Twitter. In Twitter. <laughs> Chris, get in, quick. Send link. Send link. Send link. I send, send link. link. <laughs> Absolute pleasure, Isaac. Always welcome Excellent. on the show. The, um, yeah, mate. The, Big love the to link. you and the fam. The link, the link to join is in the squad uh, members section, so you can check it out. There yeah, you know, so. yeah, Chris, become a member. <laughs> <laughs> Here he is. Right, I'm going to welcome him in because I know he's got a show coming up soon. So welcome to the channel, Chris. How are you, Chris? Yeah, we got him. Last time I had you on, I got demonetized. Your language was foul, but try again. It's fine. It's good to have you on. <laughs> <It's late. laughs> I, I had to retweak it, but, uh, but there we go. You, I'm sure you're Thank quite happy you. at the moment, aren't you? Despite going I, out of the cup, I have, I have put my show back just to come on and. Oh, oh Chris, you are the most. That means a lot. Man. Hang on a yeah. second, now. I'm doubling up there. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Right. Yes. Um, can I just say thank you for? Uh, was it last night? Um, you <laughs> you took the shine off the Blackburn result. Yeah, you're welcome. Hang on. Can I smell fish? Hey, hey now! I, I hey, what. six pointer. I, I I gloat, but look, let's be honest, we're only three points above you. You're six oh, points mate, above us like... at the moment. You are six points above us. I think you've got twenty-four. We've got eighteen. Oh, have you? Ah, sorry then. I yeah, it's even it's, it's even worse, mate. It's even oh, worse. Than you I think. can relax then. <laughs> you're gonna have a great time. Whatever, you, just, you know. Don't rewind to our score predictions, but I think you're gonna have a great time. Tell <laughs> you tomorrow. what. Tell yeah. you what. I am not confident. No. 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 Have you seen our results lately? Have you seen? Ooh. Hold on, Chris. Have you seen our results lately? <laughs> well, this is this is going to be a nil-nil last on match of the day game, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah. You've you've scored lots of goals though. You've scored yeah, lots, but you've conceded a lot. A lot. Well. Yeah, yeah you conceded one more goal than us all season, which but seems amazing. Really, I think I think we've got a good goal difference, which might just be our saving grace. Um, I, but I'm no, I'm not confident at all. Um, I mean, you know, you, I don't think we've beaten you since that game, have we? Um, if I'm not mistaken, but no, I'm just. You know, we, we had two great games, Villa and Spurs, mm -hmm. and then we've just become shite, mm. you know. And, and, and Rogers comes out and says, oh, you know, blame me. Like, you know, it was my fault. Like, no shit, Sherlock, really? <laughs> <laughs> I think we knew it was your fault. I've it's actually... Your fault. I've had a gate built into my fence because I've changed sides that often this season. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to walk through than it is to climb over. No, mate, look, I've got it. If you were to beat us or even get a draw, I, I would not be surprised. I really wouldn't. Really? Um, you know, so I've, I've literally, I've just been typing a link for tonight's show and I've actually put like, if we lose, should Rogers go? Wow! Ooh, and I've, that, I've asked that about ten times this season, and it's still there. That'd I will be honest; that would madness, cheer, that would cheer me up. That would cheer me up if, like, if we can get Rogers fired. I mean, it's for the both of us. It's for always, it's always us, a good feeling like. to get a manager fired. Have you got a manager we can fire? <laughs> no, um, yeah, yeah, mate, Sellers. Wait till you see him in a turtleneck, mate. You're gonna. Oh no! I've, I've had that pleasure. I've seen him doing a. Post match in his turtleneck. Um, <laughs> what happened with uh, what happened with Nathan Jones? <laughs> Come on, mate. Come on. I sure you still plenty of me. What happened? For that. What happened with Yannick Vestergaard, mate? <laughs> 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 you know what? I actually point. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. <laughs> I mean, Nathan Jones. I mean, you've got to sometimes take a chance on these managers, haven't you? And. You know, look at us, Martin O'Neill. We got him from Wickham Wanderers, and you yeah. know, he, he went on and, and did well at Norwich. So you do have to take a risk. It was a shame it didn't work out. I don't want you to go down because you're literally, like, say, twenty miles down the road from me. So it's a, sometimes I can get to actually see a game. But Yadi Vestergaard I... actually wrote a piece for the paper, Danish paper, and I actually feel sorry for the guy because. Yeah. Rog yeah, Rogers was apparently, well, if he's telling the truth, but 
I think he is, and what I've sort of other stories I've heard, he he basically was being chased by Rogers for eighteen months. He could have gone the um, <laughs> yeah, cheers, mate. Hey, oh no, Bertrand was a free. Um, but no, <laughs> apparently, apparently, say so. He was chasing him, and so Bertrand says, like, oh, sorry, Vestergaard said, like. So he knew what I was. He knew how I played. He knew my style and everything because he'd been chasing me for eighteen months. That's why I chose to go to Leicester because he had been over me, and now I'm not getting a sniff in. And I yeah. think it's a good point. But that that kind of sums Rogers up. You know, mm-hmm. he, we played Liverpool last season, and Chowdhury was a midfield defence midfielder. We put him at the back, and we kept a clean sheet against Liverpool, and he was blowing smoke up Chowdhury's arse. Never played again for Leicester. Yeah, he yeah. came out the other week and said, Oh, what a good uh, Mendy's a sort of defensive midfielder I like. He's fantastic. Next game, didn't pick him. I mean, you know, do you want him? Do you want him? <laughs> <laughs> you can have Rogers if you do. You know, I know you, you know, if Sellers doesn't oh. work out, you can have Rogers. But um, I do. Um, and I love the fact that every time he does a press conference, he tells us how Ryan Bertrand's going. Like, who, <laughs> who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's how I felt towards the end, to be fair. That is how I felt towards the end of that little tenure. He's gone. He's at the end of the <laughs> He's not going to play for us again. I don't give a damn how he is. <laughs> the guy. No, uh, with, the, look, with, look, with, look, the, with the greatest respect. Yeah, but she's yeah. going to start next week. <laughs> yeah, not, not a phrase we we like on this channel anymore. But but is there any feeling amongst the Leicester camp that there's the relegation is still a threat, or you guys kind of feeling pretty pretty confident? No, no, no. Really? Um, we've only beaten two teams in the top half of the table all season, and that okay. was Villa and Spurt. Well, Villa were eleventh, so I'm stretching top half a little bit. Yeah. But, now, I mean, what, where, where that Spurs performance came from, God only knows. You know, mm. Spurs must have been bloody awful. Uh, well, mm. they were, to be honest with you. But no, relegation is a huge, huge fear. You know, I know at the start of the season we had the fair play problems and Rodgers couldn't bring the, you know, do the refresh that he wanted. Um, mm. And so, and we didn't know that as fans, but when that became obvious, we kind of said, well, yeah, okay, fair play. But, you know, he's had his transfer window. You know, he's got, well, Fraser we got in, in the summer at the last minute. He's got the three players that he needed in the three positions he needed. So mm-hmm. he's got no excuses now. And, right. you know, we, we win two games. We, do, you ever watch, do you ever watch Vicar Dibley when she jumps into that puddle and puddle. she totally sinks? <laughs> yeah. that, is, that is like we take two steps forward and then end up in that puddle. <laughs> I logged my way back. Yeah. The only thing is, and I'm, I'm not being horrible when I say this, but our only saving grace is that there are probably worse teams in the division than us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's and fair. that might be the th- one thing that keeps us up. And yeah. maybe I, I say our goal difference as well. But yeah, uh, yeah I'm, I'm not going to lie, I am worried. Yeah. I think that's one thing that's stopped us from being cut adrift is the fact that there are clubs above us that are pretty well there well. were there used to be clubs above us that I thought oh they're worse than us <laughs> <laughs> and I was like oh no <laughs> the problem we got yeah it, it, like I say it oh I, I, I hope I hope we don't go down I do I, I do like Southampton saying they are I did predict you to go down at the start of the season. I'm sorry, but I also That's predicted Bournemouth to go down. I'm, I'm my own worst enemy, really. Yeah. Um, but no, it, it's no. The thing is, there's not a gap. That's the thing this mm. season is there's no gap formed, and yep. you know, you get a couple of wins, you're out of it. We lose a couple more, we're right back in it. Well, yep. you know, I mean, we were bottom at the start of the season. Yeah, for a long time. Um, I just. I don't. It's a. It's a total. I can't wait for this season to be over. Give me. Give me seventeenth now, yeah. and I'll, I'll take it. Mm. So will we. So will we. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, hand off for it. God, we could cry together, couldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the mad thing. Look at the table. I mean, effectively, we've got you know ourselves in twentieth, as we all know. We've got Bournemouth in nineteenth, Everton in eighteenth, Leeds in in seventeenth. But we've all got five wins this season. Um, and even you know yourselves have have got seven wins, and you know similarly to us, you've only 
drawn three games so it's either all or nothing with you guys as yeah. well so um perhaps that might bode for for what the result might be on, on five the worry thing evening. is that once you get i think it's past crystal palace that's where the gaps appear in yeah yeah you know so um and i mean fa cup games in the middle of the week bloody world cup's got a lot to answer for it really has mm. but yeah, yeah. i i'm like i say i I predict that we will win because I've got to I've got to support my club and if uh, you know but I understand that you will look at this game and think this is a possible win for you, mm-hmm. you know, more so than if you were say playing Liverpool or or, or Man United or whatever. I don't I'll leave mm-hmm. Chelsea because you probably beat Chelsea, but you know, <laughs> so it, it's it's going to be nervous. I think it's going to be be, be be really if you get the first goal. Mm-hmm. Then we could really be in trouble. Yeah. I Us think get the need... first goal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've... Oh, is it that bad? Is it? <laughs> well, we we we've stopped dropping points from winning positions, so we don't normally score first anymore. So that's normally the way it works out. But uh, but but scoring goals is a problem for us. You know, we haven't scored from open play since what was it that Alcaraz goal against Wolves, against Wolves. which wasn't that long before. ago, but. Mm. But there then aren't before that, many. that yeah. oh, it was a lifetime ago. But yeah, I was, I was looking at one of the uh, sites today and it said, like, both of our strengths is scoring from set pieces. And Madison, I mean, this is the thing, Madison could be back. Mm. And if I he hear. comes back, that will be the difference between us, I think. If he's not back, um, I, I, like I say, I fear for us. But I think it could be, a if he is back, a James Madison, James Ward Prowse, yeah. you know, battle off, you know. I'd take that. They said, right, instead of a game, they're going to have five set, set pieces. Piece off. Yes. Yeah. And then we yeah. and we can all just go home and be like, yeah, yeah. let's do that. I mean, that would be it. But uh, but no, um, I can say, give give me, like, like we both are. We're both in the same boat here, aren't we? Uh, a real yeah. six-pointer, as they say. Yeah, I wish we had six points more than... Than we do, and we could actually be in a in a similar position. But um, but do you see any uh, any weaknesses in the Leicester side that we you know aside from Madison not being available? Is there any other vulnerabilities in the Leicester yeah, side? Yeah, I mean our, our biggest weakness stands on the side of the pitch and claps his hand all game <laughs> um, because you just do not know. We we pick a team every week, uh, myself and Craig, and it's not very often we get it right because he springs some sort of weird decisions um so depending who he plays at the back if he plays a marty if you see a marty on our team sheet as a start in the starting 11 then you you've won and yeah. i i like a marty um but oh, it was awful against blackburn and i mean he gave the first goal away but Rogers didn't, you know, he made five substitutions and he was the worst player on the pitch and he left him on. Um, <laughs> but also it work, could work in our favour that it could be our strength because our new back four, which is Christensen as the left back, mm-hmm. and what a good buy he's been. Then we've got Faze, who hopefully he's got over his uh, own goal uh, spree. Uh, you've got Harry Souter, who we got from um, Stoke City, who is like, he's Maguire number two. And then well, good Maguire I, or Man United yeah, Maguire? No, 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 Leicester City Maguire. He was oh, good yes. when we sold him. What okay. they've done with him, they yeah. put the wrong batteries in or something. It's on them. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes. When we sold him, he was good. Um, and then either Castagna or Ricardo at right back. That's a really, they, mm. they've looked impressive. And I know that's, you're asking, probably saying, like, he's sure when you just lost to Arsenal and you just lost to Blackburn and what have you. But no, when they're on song together, then. Um, yeah, they're, they're looking good, but a Marty could be the weakness. Um, and depending who he plays in midfield, because I say Mendy's the best defensive midfielder we've got, mm-hmm. and I mean, we've got Indeedy, but he's just off form at the moment. And Samari depends which Samari you know go come, comes onto the pitch, yeah, and. Vardy could be one of our big weaknesses. If you see Vardy, and I don't think he will start, to be honest with you, and I know you mentioned him before, but I think we're seeing the end of Jamie Vardy. Uh, Against Blackburn, 90 minutes, he had 
nine, 19 touches. Right, okay. He isn't the threat that he is uh, as a single uh, striker. And Brendan likes a single striker. Yeah. So we thought Lukaku Dakar numbers was gonna... there, isn't it? Lukaku yeah. Lukaku numbers. Yeah, yeah that's low We thought Daka was going to take over, but Inacho, how he, how he didn't start, I don't know. If Inacho's mm. starting, then I'll feel confident. But if Vardy or Daka are starting, no, I won't. Yeah. Be. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I think you're perhaps, but, I mean, from, from the outside looking in. From the outside looking at it, I think you're being a bit harsh on yourselves. And because, of course, you know, you did get the wins against Villa and Spurs, but losing away at Man United, I mean, there's not much shame in that. And losing at home to Arsenal, there's also not much shame in losing 1 0 to Arsenal at home. And Blackburn yeah. Rovers are pushing for, for you know, oh, Premier yeah, League. Yeah, I mean, Black, so, Blackburn Rovers are as good as, say, a Leeds or, 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 or yeah. something like that equivalent. Yeah. The thing, what you've got to do is, though, 2 1. That didn't reflect the scoreline the other night. Mm. Yeah, it, it, it sounded like we were in the game, and, and we really right. weren't. Um, Arsenal, you know, a lot of people saying, "Yeah, well, they beat us four two last time we played, so it's an improvement." But it's the it's <laughs> it's the 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 effort, the the the, the actual dis, uh, display, the actual performance. That I, I don't mind losing mm -hmm. if the guys put a fight on. And, yeah, and yeah. go down, you know, take take a few players with them and that bloody. You know, but ah, oh, you know, it's like watching the Powder Puff Girls at times. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yet, yeah, we beat Aston Villa. Yes, we beat Tottenham. But if you're going to say at the end of the season that's our highlight, it's a little bit embarrassing to say the least. You Chris, know. you're talking to the wrong people in regards to that's, it, that's <laughs> no. your highlight and that's embarrassing. Seriously, um, yeah, we haven't had many highlights and we've had plenty of embarrassments. So it's. Uh, are you, it's are you glad that, that, that Ralph went? Was that the right decision? I think it's, we needed a change, um, mm. but as we said earlier in the show, it is a case of you. You can't believe that had the club stuck with Ralph, that we'd be where we are. But no. I still think we needed a change. But unfortunately, we went for. A, a grumpy little man and um went for nathan jones and uh, and and really we made this insane mistake of not for, not firing the manager we should have but then not backing him and then firing him getting a new, getting a what a terrible manager and then backing him with players that the other manager would have wanted <laughs> and this I mean, and now and now we're here where we are <laughs> i'll give yeah. that to our owner he could have got rid of rogers at any time up to the end of the window. But, you know, he came out and said, look, I made the decision because of FFP and because we've got a full squad and we couldn't, you know, clear players out to bring players in that we weren't going to be able to... Um, oh, Rico, you're right. Um, we weren't going to be able to bring anybody in. So I'm backing the manager now because it wasn't his fault that he couldn't do the refresh he wanted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I say, he's got... He's done that now. So if you've now struggles <laughs> then if we go down he's gone it's as simple as that if he keeps mm. us up i really don't know no. i really don't know but, no, uh, it's kind but of a... i'm gonna have to go because uh i put my show thanks, back Chris, mate. 15, that was course. But, uh, thanks so much good, for coming on i can't say good luck guys because i really don't mean it you just it... did i'll clip it up so you say good luck. <laughs> yeah that'll that's be the fine. clip yeah you'll take out the i can't <laughs> i'm good um, at editing i can do that it's fine yeah <laughs> but good luck for the rest of the season <laughs> and uh, I hope you do stay up because, like I say, it is, it is a ground I can get to quite easily. <laughs> are you uh, there? Are you there tomorrow? No, Saturday. Saturday, oh, Saturday even. Saturday even. Yeah. You there on Saturday? Uh, if I go tomorrow, I might see a better game. <laughs> probably will. <work. laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't get a ticket. I'm afraid. So, uh, I'll sorry, be mate. Say, say Mary's. You can just sit in the home end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> With my blue one and what have you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one will stop you. Oh, dear. <laughs> but awesome. if I have you free later, we start out, like I say, in five minutes. We'll probably be going on for an hour or so. If you want to come on, message me on Twitter and I'll oh, send nice. you the link. That's uh, yeah. anyway, I'll send for the rest session. of the season, guys. I really do hope you stay up. Oh, oh, good to talk to you, Chris. Great oh, to see you. Cheers, start Chris. next week, if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, right. guys. All cheers, the best. Cheers, Chris. Bye. There we go. Fantastic as always. And be sure Lester to check out I die. Chris's show, which will be sure. going live shortly um, as we come to a close on ours. Um, yeah, some, some good insights there. I mean, I, like I said, I'm kind of surprised that he's so downhearted. I mean, to to get 4-1 win against 
um, Spurs, and then a four-two win away at Villa. Um, Do you know what it's like? If it's he's almost in a position of sort of like he's worse off than like when we were with Puel, but maybe sort of like you know some of that you know like last season with Ralph or the season before, like when it wasn't relegation, but it's just not what you need. We just happen yeah. to be in really really dire straits where he's in standard Premier League. <laughs> We, mm. we should we should get out of this, but we might not get out of this sort of situation. So, yeah, I, I, he's he's where we were probably last season. Yeah, yeah, complaining that it's not good enough. Yeah, and, flirting uh, above the relegation zone, still it, not out of it. It's um, crazy. This, and we're in the even worse spot. And I think not. I I think it's because I, Southampton get you know we never get the press anymore. We're not everybody talks about us. We are somewhat forgotten. I think by the league mm-hmm. almost like we're already we're already out of it like the pundits you know beginning of the season already marked us down yeah and i think a lot of people tend to think that like, you haven't even heard anything like cap lisa hampton are going down the season do you know what i mean like when you hear the same yeah. like everton west ham those teams right. but no no one is talking about southampton going down yeah well, and let's we take sit- our southampton hats off and and just have a look at that because you know in terms of we've been flirting with relegation for the last three, four seasons. You know, we, we've been in and around it. Um, and effectively, thought, over the but... summer, we bought a lot of young players, didn't we? There's a lot yeah. of youth in there. There's a lot of unproven unknowns. You know, when I speak to opposing channels and they and they say, we didn't really buy anyone in the, in the summer. It's just like, well, we spent like nearly 70, 80 million in in yeah. you know in our acquisitions, but but no one heard of him aside from Maribo, which is not getting any game time at the moment. It just seems weird, really weird, really really weird. Yeah, it, I mean, I look back to last season, right when Burnley were going down. Mm-hmm. I feel like that was more reported than Southampton. Like there was, there was more talk of like, oh, you know, Burnley can they escape? Can they get to, like there was more invested in a Sean Deichler's Burnley. Yeah. Then us. Give it time, though. Like, Give it I time. Think so. I don't think so. I think I, I, I think that one again. Another sad thing about it is that I feel like we go out quietly. Yeah, but it, last season was different because effectively you had two clubs. Because it was Sheffield United went down last season, didn't they? Was it last yeah. season. So yeah, Sheffield United that were gone pretty quick, um, and then you had Watford that dropped off, and then that last place was held out until a miracle win from, uh, well from Everton uh, at home to Crystal Palace where they came back from behind and then also Leeds going away to Brentford and getting a win and that was the mad thing about that so suddenly yeah. you had Burnley effectively just blindsided even the going on a, on a great run towards the end of the season completely blindsided at the the final turn of it and effectively saw them relegated so you know there's still a long way to go there's still plenty of games to be played but I mean, we we don't draw games, so we just got to win them, and that's yeah. that's 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 the difference. I mean, Leeds, their win against us was the first win they'd had in the lead since the fifth of November. Since the fifth of November, and that was against Bournemouth. Do we have to talk about Nottingham Forest? Do I have to do I have to bring that up as well? Or <laughs> it's just we're the team that everyone breaks ducks like, Yeah, it's, it just adds on to it. It's they lose to Grimsby. They lose nine nil. If you, if your striker hasn't scored in six games, they score a couple against them. If yeah, you do you know what I mean? The Bamford Bamford scores against us. It's it it, it was just that team. Yeah, and it's now gotten to a point where there's nothing on the other side of that to 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 go past all these mistakes and all these ridiculous things. Yeah, apart from just the most vicious of resets, and you know. You're right. We, you know, we we did buy a lot in the summer, hmm. but we can all agree that you know Sports Republic came in a bit too gun ho on. We're going to be a youth team and do this, you know, and this is going to yeah. be our model. Yeah. They came in too strong, like you know the FIFA player. Like this is what I'm going to do with this team. This is going to be the game that I play, rather than being like, All right, this team have been on the slip now for two seasons. Let's yeah. secure that, and in January. You know, it is the, like, if you look at the two transfer windows, if you swap them round, mm-hmm. you know, it, I feel like it could be really different. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, yeah, quite possibly. Quite possibly. A comedy from Adrian can't agree. We're constantly smugly referred to as bottom club Southampton. I always hate this kind of like re- relegation threatened Southampton and all this kind of stuff. But we are there. We are there. We're in and around it. So it's, but yeah, I, th- I think a lot of pundits do speak with disdain against Southampton in regards to, you know, that they're, they're, they're always in danger, you know. But in all honesty, I think everyone below, uh, everyone in the bottom half of the table is in danger. It's just a yeah. case of whether they can show up. And, and I think whoever gets relegated this season is probably really going to deserve, deserve to get relegated. I mean, the fact that we're, we're not cut adrift with the form that we've had just seems madness to me. Like, we, you know, to have five wins all season um, and just not, you know, to be still in and around it. It's, you know, but we've, we've got to win. We've got to pick up points. Indeed. And I think we've probably exhausted that subject. We've, we've, we've throttled it to death, but it's been, it's been a decent show tonight. And we certainly appreciate all those who contributed joining us live and also joining in the chat session. Um, please also remember to, you know, join in the uh, comment section after the show if you're watching on replay. Um, it's still plenty of discussion to be had there. Uh, me and Jack will be at the game on Saturday evening. Oh, um, yes. Oh, J- yes. Jack's going to get there oh. just in time. So, just um, in time. <laughs> just in time. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be making that happen. But, you know, we, we've got to go with positivity. Ruben Sellers says we're going to need the, the Saints fans behind them. And we will be behind our club. I think, you know, any Southampton fan is going to be out there just giving it their all. But we've got to see something. We've got to see some some gutsy performances and I think someone put in the section to grow a pair and get out there and get it done. And um, yeah, I think I'm with that. I'm thinking with that. We just need to show up, have a bit of guts and show that we deserve to be in the Premier League because if we don't, we won't. And that's the end of it really, isn't it? So there we go. Any final thoughts, Jack? Final words of wisdom? We're going to win (laughs) 6-1. And it's going to be an absolute party, and we're all going to we're all going to come back here in a week's time, and I'm not going to say anything for 20 minutes. I'm just going to sit here like this. Yeah, I get your t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. What? What? It will say what? I will sit like this for 20 minutes, and I, you know, we 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 will we will send the Streamyard link out to people to just come on and praise me for 20 minutes. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Fantastic stuff. Oh dear, 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 dear. And if you want some more football chat, please be sure to go and join uh, Leicester City till I die. They, I believe they're going live at the moment, so I'll go and check them out. Uh, but there we go. It's been a good show. Thanks again to everyone who's joined us. Um, as always, remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. And me and Jack will see you in the next one. All right, see ya.